Hello and welcome back to another video on the alert box. So the first one was how to create a typical alert box. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add to that. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is we don't have to create a new package. We're going to use the same one because these guys are going to be related. So I'm going to do new class. I'm going to call this class alert box as we said. And let's see here. We're going to have a public static void. I'm going to hit public static void. All right, there we go. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to add my library. So I'm just going to copy over these libraries instead of typing them in. There you have them prepared. So you'll notice the difference on these libraries. As you notice here where I have the JavaFX.stage, scene, layout, etc. As you notice here, I'm doing a dot asterisk and, and the uh, uh, semicolon, which means it's a wild card. It gives me everything, everything in that area. Okay, so we have our alert box, we have our static void. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. So we're not using the application layer in this one, and we're not using the start. And the reason being for that is due to the reason this is just uh, part of the alert box. So we're not, we're just a small pop-up window that we're gonna use in here. So the first thing that we're gonna do, all right, so let's uh, start here. First thing we need is a stage. Stage, I'll call it my window, keep it simple, equals new stage. Oops, can't type. Then we need to go my window dot init mobility, and we need to call it modality. And I'll talk about modality in a second here. I'll get you an example application model. So if I actually went to let's see I went to Google here actually let me uh, minimize that so this right here I just Google what is model this right here is a model so if you've ever went to a website and you click on something and something like this popped up this is kind of what we're creating in Java FX won't be as fancy but it'll be pretty neat so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set our title my window dot set title oops see I can't even spell either all right so we need a name of the title which is gonna be called title because we're gonna pass in a value um, see here what are we missing oh, okay I see what's happening here so we have our public static void void main so what we need to do is change this around because if we go back to the main here we call it um, display. So what we need to do is change this around a little bit. We're gonna take this out. And we're gonna call it public static void display, and we're gonna put in a parameter called string title and string message. That should fix our title. There you go. Perfect. Because we'll pass that value over. Now we'll do my window, and we'll set the min width. Okay, which is the, the value of this the size of it. we'll make it 250 you could come up with a different value if you like so now we're gonna create a label we're gonna call it label uh, I'll call it label one equals new label perfect and then we'll do a label let's see label one dot set text and we'll give it a value so our set text will be message so whatever message is it's passed over then we'll have a button we'll call it button close button because we're gonna be closing something equals new button and we'll give it a, a value called close window something like that now we need a a action for that close button so, so we'll do close button dot set on action you'll get really good with this set on action stuff we do we did a lot in class now what we need to do is do uh, the name of the window, which is called my window. Dot close, and get rid of that semicolon, so that closes that event. All right. So a couple other things we need to use a V box on this one. So we're gonna use the V box layout. Call it layout equals new V box, and we need some padding. All right. And then the name of the layout dot get children dot let's add all 
because this time we're adding uh, the label and we're adding the close button. All right, so label one actually. There we go. All right, so we added that. Now we need to set the alignment on this. So if we do layout dot set alignment, we need to put a position. So we're going to position this in the center. All right, almost done. So we need a scene. We'll call it screen one. Equals new scene. And we'll use the layout, which is where everything is located. We'll do my what? Sorry, my window dot set scene and then we'll put screen one and last but not least we'll do my window almost done dot show and wait because we want to show it so display the window before it returns it needs to be closed instead of dot show so this right here saves this piece of it so what we need to do is go back to the alert box the main area and what we're going to do here is we're going to uncomment this this guy should work now because if I double right click, I'm sorry, hover over it, right click on it, do open declaration, takes me to the alert box. So now hypothetically this should work. So I'm going to click run. Yes, I want to run it. All right, so it brings over my box again. Now when I hit submit, look at this. The alert box is new. So I can't click around it. I click the close window. Boom, it closes the window. So this is part one and part two of the alert box. And this is what we talked about in class uh, on Thursday, if you're in my CIT 130 class uh, at college. So this is that video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And the next video I'll post on is how to uh, do a confirmation box. Thank you for listening and have a good day.